Bargain bin stores, they're popping up everywhere. But what is the big deal? And should you go visit one? Today, we're gonna find out. Capitalism is one of those things that some people love and some people hate. But just like in human interaction, the popular ones are the ones that don't ask for very much. So that's why on today's show, we're going to a type of store that's been popping up all over America. And that would be the bargain bin store. Okay, so they got these bins and all the stuff inside the bins are the same price. Well, I got an idea. Instead of just talking about a bargain bin store, why don't we actually go to one? Let's go. The bargain bin store we're going to be checking out today is a place called Treasure Hunt Deals in Orland Park, Illinois. Okay, I told my mom that I wasn't going to buy anything unless I see something I absolutely need, like a machine that prints like billion dollar bills or something, which I probably won't. And then my mom said, No, you don't need to buy anything. And I'm like, did you not hear what I said? So here we are on a cloudy Friday morning here to see what the big deal is with bargain bin stores. Look at all these people. They must have known I was coming. Not quite, Keith. There's a line outside because it's Friday, and that's when they're restocked with new stuff. But we'll talk more about what role the days of the week play in just a little bit. I'm holding a raffle ticket because on Friday, they had a raffle before they opened the doors. There's someone with a megaphone to announce the winning numbers, too. They also passed out bags to shop with. Hey, aren't those IKEA bags? Am I in the right place? But before they could start the raffle or even open the doors, this happened. Someone was carried away on a stretcher, and I think it was a customer. Whoever it was, I definitely hope they're okay. But after a few minutes, they decided to let us in and said they'd hold the raffle inside. So here we are, inside a bargain bin store. Now seeing all these bins reminds me of that thrift store the girl I thought I was gonna marry told me about. Except here, you don't pay by the pound, you pay by the item. Today everything is $10, and every day till Wednesday the price goes down. Wednesday is dollar day. Thursdays, they're closed for restocking. Oh look, a unicorn coloring book! $10 does seem a little much for it though. Oh, and ABBA's latest album. That does seem a little more reasonable for a band like ABBA. Now you're probably wondering where all this stuff comes from, and why it's discounted. A lot of this stuff is returns from Amazon, or overstock from big box stores. Usually this stuff is sold to vendors by the pallet load, and ends up in places like this. Rumor has it you can find some pretty big ticket items here for $10 today. Like tools, electronics, and look, a toolbox! Toys... <laughs> health and beauty products. Oh, and this rubber ducky. Doesn't seem to want to squeak though. There we go. Any bargain bin store can be competitive, but luckily they'll be putting in new stuff throughout the day. But because it's competitive, I probably shouldn't be so self-conscious about filming in public, as people are probably more worried about deals than they are worried about me. Hello there. Hey look, just what I needed. Game show buzzers and balls for the ball pit. Just in case I ever do make that game show one of these days. And look, press on nails for the losers! But after spending about an hour here, I think I got the general idea. So let's go back home and see what the angle is on this one. Look, Mom, I didn't buy anything. But I wanted to make sure I got the full angle on this type of store. So a little over a week later, I went on Dollar Day, the Wednesday before they close on Thursday to restock. That night I'll start work till 3.30 today. So will I be able to find a tablet for a dollar? I doubt it. I'm sure all the good stuff was taken by now. So here I was, camera in hand, and ready to go. Remember, everything's a dollar today. And though I didn't expect there to be much, some people were still curious enough to come and look around. So let's take a look and see what we find. They still had computer cables, DVDs I've never heard of, and pomade. Which honestly, I don't really think I need. But I will admit, I'm more likely to buy a health and beauty product if it's a dollar, and not ten dollars like on Friday. I think I'm a little young for polygrip though. But not old enough to rule out color spray for my hair. Oh boy. Oh look, face masks. Remember when those were popular? But honestly, with the mix of phone cases and... computer keys? I didn't see really anything I felt I needed. Well, I take that back. I could spare a buck for the Weird Al movie soundtrack. And if I found the ABBA CD this time, I probably would have bought that too. 
Definitely not the madness you saw on the Friday I came filming here, but there was still a lot more stuff than I expected there to be. That and look, I found a CD from that new Weird Al movie. For a dollar, I guess it's worth it. So let's go to me with the final angle on this one. I'd be getting back into coloring lately. Without any further ado, let's take a look at those results. Honestly, I found bargain bin stores to be very interesting. And honestly, I think it's nice to know those Amazon returns and whatnot have a place to go when they're returned. You can find just about anything. And while I think it's a clever concept, and I do like the idea, I really don't think it's something I'd go out of my way for to do again. And that's not to say there weren't some good deals, but if you come here with a list, there's no guarantee you'll find or walk out with what you came for. But I'd consider coming here if I was a reseller looking to resell discounted merch for a profit. But still, I don't think I'd come early, get in line, and wait for them to open again. It's just not my thing. But luckily, there's enough people who will to keep this business up and running. For myself, I don't recommend it. But if you're interested, it does exist. And that is the Wrangles Angle on that one. A big special thanks to Treasure Hunt Deals for letting me film my experience. While it's not my cup of tea, I do think they run a good business. Also very friendly, too. And you know who else was friendly? Even the customers. Anytime somebody accidentally bumped into me, they stopped and apologized. And that's how you know you got a good business right there. And that is the Wrangle Zangle on that one. But don't forget, we got more videos for you to watch on YouTube and Facebook. Remember, either way, it's .com slash Wrangle Zangle. When you're there, don't forget to hit subscribe because we got more videos for you on the way, including videos where we go places because a lot of people seem to like when I do that. But uh, before we go, before you watch more of my videos, you know, selling anything at a bargain usually gets you a lot of attention. In the bargain bin store's case, the merchandise is unsorted, but they make up for that with really low prices. So naturally, business-minded me came up with an idea for a restaurant chain. I even shot a commercial for it. Let me tell you what, we'll show you that commercial right now. We'll see you next time, folks. Take it easy. Some places focus on the presentation and charge you for it, too. But here at Sloops, you get what you pay for. We sell vegetables. Heck, we even sell meat. We're just not allowed to show it to you. So we'll just skip to dessert. If you're hungry, you know where to come. And that's Sloops. Sloops, we don't care. Coming soon to Sloops. Good quality meat. You've been disqualified.